It's Video Friday. Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to do today, we're going to continue the theme. We started Tuesday. We're pulling 4K stills out of 4K video to see how the sharpness compares. Is the 4K video sharp? Is the 4K stills very sharp? And from my opinion, from looking at what I did Tuesday, to tell the truth, I don't think so. It could be just this camera I'm using, the FC300. I know sometimes it hit focus dead on, and sometimes even when you get focus confirmation, it's still a little soft when you zoom in. But looking at it on my monitor, it, they did not look that sharp. Now that could be my monitor, or it could be just my eyes, because my eyes are probably older than yours. So we're going to do it again. That's why I'm asking for your feedback. Do you see a sharp richness detail in the video in the, and in the stills? And with that being said, I will see you on the other side. Our first test will be the Elon Law School building. Let's see how sharp this sign is. We'll also shoot the flag on the flagpole and we will compare the sharpness of the 4K steel as compared to the 4K video. I just like the way the buildings reflect from one building to another and the street sign. We'll see how this scene looks as a 4K steel. And I'm now using manual focus. So let's see how sharp my eye is. This is a good test to see what kind of detail you get in the 4K steel. Okay, let's see what kind of detail we get in a close-up of the splashing water. This is the artwork showing different historic figures through time from around the world and from North Carolina. Let's see how well it renders in 4K video still. Now I know if you're from North Carolina, you know what this artwork represents. It represents the Wright brothers. Of course, I do not need to tell you who this represents. This is Dr. King. He started a dream, now it's up to us to finish it. Well, what do you think? Was the 4K still sharp? Was the 4K video sharp? The camera I'm using is FC300, and I purchased it for $300. Why? Because it was a great way, an inexpensive way, to get in 4K video. But if the video's not sharp, or the still's not sharp, it was $300 wasted. Now, I don't know, it could be my eyes, or it could be the amount of time I'm looking at, so that's why I'm asking for your input. What do you think? Is the video sharp, and are the still sharp. And with that, you know, as I always said, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right hand corner and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I don't mind you giving me a thumbs down. Just, just leave a reason why you don't like it. But the only way anyone can improve is to know what they did wrong and what they did right. You know, if I, if, I, if I only know what I'm doing right, and people tell me about that, but they don't tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'm still not going to improve. So that's why I don't mind feedback both ways. You know, I'm thick-skinned, I can handle some criticism. And with that being said, well, oh, I almost forgot my two, my two sayings, you know. When it comes to photography, no one knows it all. When it comes to photography, that's why I believe I'm open to ideas and comments. And when it comes to photography, the more we learn, you know about now, the more we didn't know. So with that being said, I will see you Tuesday.